Hello. I'm James Lee Smith from Savannah, Georgia, Georgia, born and raised. All right, well, my name is Eric Britt. Um, tonight, I'm here at Jazz playing with my buddy James Smith. I got into music when I was about seven or eight years old. Started playing around with the piano, kind of tinkering and toying with stuff. Later on, when I was about ten, I started playing guitar. A lot of my family members and cousins were all musicians or singers or something, and it kind of inspired me to play music. And uh, just kind of tinkered with it for a little while. It was just kind of just something I decided to do for fun. And then I got pretty serious with it. I started college to do something totally different than music and uh, later on I found out that music was really what made me happy and uh, it was definitely a lot more fun than a 9 to 5 job so I started about two years ago doing music full time and it's been awesome. I was in this regional band called Hazel Virtue that was started in Athens, Georgia and when I was at UG. Um, we probably on the road like seven or eight years, uh, and I moved. We, the band finally broke up after we put out two or three, probably not mainstream records, but uh, records that were on a radio festival level. So we got some radio play. I was like right out of college, so had all this energy, and um, I was a decent frontman, singer, songwriter, but I also ended up managing. Uh, booking calls. I'm also a con control freak, so I ended up firing all of my booking agents, and managers, and business managers, because I had to have it my way. So I ended up just running myself in the corner. I've been working on it for six years. It's taken forever. Um, 
lot of personal struggles in there. Um, but in the last six months, I've been able to pretty much almost completely pay for this record. How did I do it? I've been playing solo. I have no overhead. I've got no bandmates. No sniveling or meddling bandmates. There's just something about this hotel Got me feeling I was dead I gotta get out of New York City Some place where I can play in my head I'm just kicking around the sidewalk Hopefully get an opener for somebody that's already kind of established to gain new fans and uh, just see what happens. Put it out there. Let's do you get the applause. It's just nice to be treated well for doing your art, but lots of things have happened. I've met some amazing people. Eric Clapton, Earl Blue, George Benson, Shopping Collin. I got to play with a lot of these people. Um, country artist Billy Currington. Bluegrass artist Chris Thiele. Um, I keep kind of like better in that, that place. Oh, well, I think this is like the greatest night of my life. Um, we had four singles released off this record, Hip, when I was right out of college. Um, so we go places and sell out. Um, I think in my mid 20s, I thought the highlight of my career was when I had we'd sold out the Georgia Theater and I had the entire place singing all the songs um, instead of me. They were like singing the words for them that I was playing. I thought I was the Duke of Earl. I like thought, oh my god, I haven't made it. And uh, little did I know, you know, I hadn't made it. I was just getting started. I was like, I thought I could go home and die that night. I was so happy. But um, that was a big high. Um, a couple years later, I was at a record low. We played music Midtown in front of thousands and thousands of people, and I just absolutely had enough. The band broke up like two weeks later. Um, I could not stand to be in the same room with these guys anymore. I didn't care how big we were, what we were doing, how, how much momentum we had. I could care less. Um, I, the only thing that any kind of contracts or anything meant was I had to spend more time with these guys. Well, I just got to find me somewhere. Other people as much as possible. So 
every chance I get to play and have a small audience, even if it's two people or 2,000 people, I want to play for them and make them feel what I'm feeling. And they can interpret it any way they like. And you have any words of encouragement to some aspiring musicians that are looking to get out in your field or follow your footsteps? What advice would you give them? Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. You can never practice enough. I wish I practiced more through the years. You go through the years and you're good, even if you're good at what you do, man, man, I could be just a little bit better. It's something you never perfect. You always work harder to be better at it. So any up and musicians, please just practice, practice, practice. Listen to everything. Never be one-sided. Never be only in one genre. Even if that's your profession is in one genre. Open your mind and listen to other music because it makes you better at whatever you're doing. So be open to everything. Listen to everything. You can take a piece of something from any type of music and make it your own. Make, it, make you stronger in what you do and what you pursue. But definitely be good at it. Don't try to take the easy route and try to get famous from being from being nothing. There's so many people out there that are famous who aren't good, and that's really sad because the radio promotes stuff that's promotable, not so much whether it's good or not. So for any musician, if that's what you want to do for a living, you can be absolutely happy, not famous as a musician, and make a good living as a musician. But fame does help because you make more money when you're famous as well. So go for it. Do it. Absolutely just go for it. Make go for whatever makes you happy. If music makes you happy, definitely be a musician. Because I, I did it. Between the lines, the, um, if you're actually gonna try to go in a mainstream direction, um, in a mainstream direction, the people that can help you get where you're going, the managers, the people at radio stations, the people at satellite radio, the people at video production places. Being a screw up is not People don't want it anymore. They don't want that. They want somebody that's got their stuff together. And um, so, my advice to anybody that's going in, in the direction that I was going, I'm trying to still go into, um, is to not necessarily have to be completely sober unless you are tried and true that you cannot be sober like myself. <laughs> but you got to keep it together all the time. Don't waste these years of your life being stoned. Don't think it's cool to show up to an interview like my Jim Morrison. Nobody wants to see it anymore. It's not cool to be self-destructive anymore. So, yeah, use your time wisely. Keep it between the lines. Um, be as sharp and concise as you can at all times. So that's my that's, that's my advice to anybody that wants to do this for a uh, living. And the first couple songs we put together, we decided to call The Rapper Next Door. We kind of described uh, my style, I guess. I don't too much use any uh, cussing words. I usually get the casual shirt and I just couldn't find my belt before I left. So I'm not trying to like, you know, I don't know, whatever. I'm a gangster! <laughs> 